Is helmet theft a problem for you? Well, I got the solution. Say hello to the HSS, also known as the Helmet Shock System. Say goodbye to petty theft once and for all. Utilizing state-of-the-art sensor technology that will stop the most curious of criminals dead in their tracks. The HSS is not just for stopping thefts. Perhaps theft is not even a problem for you. The HSS still makes a good party slash gag gift that will leave your guests stunned. You can buy yours at the link on screen now. So alright, dumb jokes aside, I pretty much put this thing together as a one-off prank between me and my friends. I also thought it would be funny to have another high voltage project just like the shock potato aka hot potato but with a high voltage stun module, but in this case just with a simple unsuspecting helmet. The way I put this thing together, I'll have a diagram up on screen, is I just pretty much used a 555 timer and when I touch the trigger pins, it turns on and the uh, off pins or the, the threshold to turn it off I believe is hooked up to a capacitor. Either way, diagram's on screen, it's super simple. Essentially, when you touch the left side of the helmet, the other side will turn on. Now, you can actually affect the delay and have it stay on a little longer if you wish, but really it's just on when it's being touched. The reason why I did this is I plan to add a MOSFET to this eventually in the future and actually fully power the high voltage stun module. As of right now, it's only being powered with the 200 or so milliamps at 3 volts that the 555 timer is outputting. This means the shock is not that bad, it's pretty much comparable to like a shocking pen or maybe a really strong static shock. It's not enough to actually hurt you and it's not enough to break air resistance and make that classic kind of taser shocking sound and effect. But before I leave this off here, why did I mount the high voltage module to the side of the helmet? Well, eventually I want to add some disconnects and put the uh, metallic little shocking pads on their own rail. The reason being is if I'm going to put a step up module in here, I want to eventually be able to disconnect the high voltage module and plug in other various hardware such as a 12 volt light or perhaps even some parametric speakers. And if you don't know what parametric speakers are, stay tuned, they're a pretty cool speaker, kind of like a laser focused speaker, you don't hear it from the sides, just wherever it's hitting. I will be putting my own set together in the future here, not based off any kit or anything, my god those are way too expensive, we're going to be building it pretty much from scratch. But with that said, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope the diagram helped you out, maybe inspired you to make your own DIY project. But for now, I'm going to leave today's video off here now. DTPK signing off. Peace. Up things appropriately, or do what I did in my current build is use some plastic. Thank you.